Hi everyone, welcome back. All the lights are coming on now. How I wish that it would slow now. I don't feel like going home. Now. So today's video is a super exciting one. I have waited for this literally all year. This is my favorite video to film, one of my favorite videos to watch, and that is obviously what I got my kids for Christmas. I think the biggest reason that I love this video so much is because it's just so fun to like watch other people and like they're, one, get good ideas in general about what to get, you know, if you kind of stalling on the gift ideas, but two is just see how excited parents get because they can't wait for their kids to open it. And it just, I don't know, the magic and the joy just booms this time of year um and i love filming it because i just get so excited because i realize like oh my gosh it's happening i don't know is that weird <laughs> I don't know. a couple things before i start disclaimers everybody says this and i'm sure you guys are annoyed with seeing it but this is a very ridiculous amount of gifts i thought i practiced restraint i didn't i was like i did so good and then now that i have them all around me i didn't so you guys may have a lot of opinions on that. Like, I got way too much for my kids. I spoiled my kids. Maybe this is nothing. I don't know. Um, I, it's a lot. I don't get my kids any presents during the year, pretty much. They do get some stuff for Valentine's Day and Easter and, of course, their birthdays. But even their birthdays are a lot more toned down than Christmas is. I go all out on Christmas. I just wanted to make it as magical and exciting and special as possible. They're only little ones. They're growing so fast that I know like soon enough they'll be like, oh, I just really want this phone or something. It's not going to be as exciting as it would be like getting to buy toys and just spoiling them and letting them enjoy the magic and just relish in Christmas. I'm trying to be as quick and kind of quiet as possible because I actually have my kids here. They're during nap time, so we'll see. They're just right behind that door. I could be screwed in a second. So this is, we're living on edge. The other thing I want to say is that these gifts, I try to buy it with intention and that may seem like completely ridiculous when you see what I have, but I have like an intentional idea when I go and start buying gifts. I try to think of a theme to kind of center around so I don't just buy a lot of random things because I think that would easily happen for me. I try to buy like a certain type of item and multiple types of that type of item. Does that make sense? And if you've never seen me before, I have two kids two little girls one is just turned four and one is about to be two okay let's start with eleanor so eleanor is just about to be two she'll be two in march and so i'm just gonna say two-year-old we're just gonna round on up um you get you will notice that i didn't buy a whole lot of like toddler themed toys or babier toys for her um and that is because she never really got into the baby toy phase i think that since she had her older sister and her older sister had a lot more cool more interesting toys she like baby toys were like never her thing we bought a bunch last year and they like barely got played with. Um, so we decided just to skip the baby toy phase and really focus and I like watched her for months and months and months to see what she really was like progressing into and what she was really starting to enjoy. And all of that really centered around her kitchen, pretend play, um, baby dolls and all of those types of things. So that's her stuff and we're gonna start with her. So the first thing I found is this. This is a cupcake set from Green Toys. Green Toys makes really awesome toys. They're all recycled plastic. Um, they're free of BPA, PVC, phthalates, and food safe. And I freaking love them. They're basically made from like old like plastic milk jugs, all that type of stuff. They're recycled and remade into toys. And they are so durable. I find them to be so nice quality. Um, they don't break easily. They don't, they're not woods, they're not chipping and I love them. Um, and since they are food, kids tend to like to put the food stuff in their mouth and so I'm feeling okay because these are food safe. So if they want to put these in their mouth, it doesn't harm them. Everything's going to be fine. Um, so anyway, this is the cupcake set. Eleanor's super into pretend play with food. She has a little ice cream set that she got for, that my oldest got for her birthday the year before, and that's her favorite toy. And I figured that she would love these because they look similar to the ice cream set. They're interchangeable, so she could take off the icing and the cake and the cupcake liner and switch it all around in different color schemes. And I love the little cupcake holder. Um, I got this off of Amazon. I think it was like $13, $14. They aren't very expensive. I really enjoy green toys. I think they're really great gifts. 
and I've done a lot of those in the past, giving them to others, and I just love that. I think she's gonna love that too. So when I shop, I shop pretty much all year round. I think that's why I'm able to kind of like go crazy. <laughs> not really why I'm able to more like I shouldn't but it's because I just shop all year I find things at like Walmart all the time Amazon we would Toys R Us before they close I just constantly am shopping and it really helps during Christmas time when all of a sudden it's like okay it's a bunch of presents I have to shovel out a bunch of money it's so much easier because I've bought already the bulk of their items the majority of these items I got either at Walmart or at Amazon um, and I will try to make sure I link everything of it that is still available but all right, this next item for Eleanor is a little tea set. This is uh, Masha and the Bear. If you don't know Masha and the Bear, it is a little Russian cartoon. It's really popular over here now. It's on Netflix, super, super cute cartoon. Uh, my oldest, Olive, like really got into it. Eleanor is like, doesn't really care about it at all, but she's obsessed with teapots. Like she just loves to pour water into cups. Like it's one of her favorite things that she does in the bathtub all the time and so I'm so excited for this because it's perfect for her and it comes with a little pie that's already like cut up with little plates so you can put it on here. I found this on Walmart online. I feel like the best deals this year were definitely online toys with Walmart and Amazon. I feel like I've never got as good deals as I had but I bought this back in like August and it was on sale for three dollars and I ordered it and I was saying it's gonna be so junky but whatever it's three dollars it's not that big of a deal. I was so impressed when I got this in the mail. I was so excited. It even has a little picnic basket. The little she can just, yeah, it's just so cute. Um, they, it's not, there's no longer $3, but they still do have it. So I will leave a link below if you are interested, but it's really, really cute. I was so excited to get that. Every year, Walmart does a huge, like, clearance of, I think, just to get rid of a lot of their inventory of, like, older toys before they bring in their new, like, fall, Christmas, holiday items. And it's normally, like, right around May and through the summertime. Um, and they just get rid of so much stuff they do online and in store and that's where i bought so much of this stuff was during like the clearance section because it's crazy deals and then a lot of times the same items you'll see again back to full price which is kind of weird so i feel like they're getting rid of like a bulk of their stock but they're still keeping a couple over there i don't really know um but a lot of these items are from that so definitely keep an eye out i've said that to you guys multiple times through a lot of my gift guide videos is just clearance check them out <laughs> This next item is from that clearance section in Walmart. This was $2.50. I think it's regularly like $15, $19, something like that. This was $2.50, crazy. But this is the Doc McStuffins on-call accessory set. Eleanor loves Doc McStuffins. She loves, once again, pretend play and doctor kits and all that stuff. So does my oldest, so they'll both, obviously all the stuff they're all gonna be able to play with, with each other. But this is specifically for Eleanor. This has a little flashlight. It has the toy responder that opens up, closes into a heart. She has a little doctor bin, a screwdriver, a little face mask, and some stickers. It's just really cute. I know she's gonna love it. I mean, for $2.50, like, this was, it's like I was stealing it. All right, the next item is another food item. This, we just baited on what type of food toys to get her because we have a lot of, like, Melissa and Doug toys and just wooden food, and I feel like they don't, love them as much i find that they truly truly gravitate towards like more of the plastic food i just don't think they feel as like the wooden food is as realistic to them um and so i decided that i would instead of getting melissa ducks i was looking at a lot of their cute um foods and the hate brand i love all their stuff but the kids don't seem to like it as much so i decided to look into more realistic plastic food i hate getting the plastic food that's super cheap and it's like almost hollow and such thin plastics it's so junky it gets gross there's like bite marks in it i wasn't about that so i wanted to find a good set of plastic food fisher price came out with some pretend play food this year and it's super cute that was in the running but then i saw this and i just thought this was adorable this is from a brand called learning resource Sources, which if you guys don't know I do have a um, my own home daycare that I run and I have bought multiple educational activities and toys from learning resources they're one of my favorite brands they're really high quality and durable toys and activities um, and this is from it I'm sorry for the glare this is just it's called the munch it my very own play food um, this is in 20 pieces but if you can see like I love how realistic the food looks like the mac and cheese is so 
detailed same thing like the cookies and the carrots they, they aren't hollow they're like substantial pieces of food and they come with cereal and mac and cheese and a juice box and a sandwich and yogurt and all these other different accessories and i just thought these were really nice and really cute and i know that she's gonna love it specifically the mac and cheese because they're like her favorite food and uh this is for 18 months plus so it's perfect for her age range the pieces aren't small enough for her to be able to swallow and I just loved it. They're so cute. Um, I got this on Amazon, but it's also available at Walmart. I think this was about like $15 or $16. So this next item is a for real friend. A for real pet? For real friend? For real? For real something. I think it's for real friends. Whatever. For real pet. I'm just going to say it. Um, and she has one that was my oldest, and she is obsessed with it. She's loved it so much that she's literally broken its neck, and it's kind of creepy because the neck kind of just hangs around because it's still in its like fur casing so the neck kind of breaks and it's kind of dangling it's kind of creepy and she just keeps loving on it it makes me think of Lenny from Mice and Men um it's kind of sad so I decided to get her a new one now this one's a little bit different I didn't they have a lot of ones that are like hopping and pooping and walking and all those things I didn't know how she would do with those I didn't want her to break those really easily so I decided to get this one this little guy is called Shaggy Sean and basically you can just pretend to cut his hair. He has all this long beard. I may trim this because I don't know if she's gonna love this. So I may trim it a little bit back, but um, you're supposed to pretend to cut his little hair. He's a little floofy up here. And then they have this little pretend trimmer. Just press the button and you pretend to cut his hair. He's so cute. He is a little shaggy guy, but he has nice big eyes and a cute little mouth. And I just thought that he was so sweet and something that she could start kind of loving on and kind of maybe we can say goodbye to our little guy that she broke his neck. Okay, this is a popular toy this year. This I actually got before I got Shaggy Sean, the little for real friend. Um, and this was kind of supposed to be similar to the doggy as well. And just kind of something she could love on and take care of. She really loves little pets and animals. And so I got this. These are Pomsies. This is Patches. They have a bunch of different types of ones. I honestly wish that I waited because they now have a unicorn one. And it's so cute. But um, he's still really cute. You basically press his little nose and he purrs and he mumbles and talks with you and just hangs out he's just a sweet little guy you're supposed to like wrap him around your wrist and backpack and whatever but i just think he's cute she's seen them in the store and likes them she always points to them and so i just think he'll be like a fun little thing for her to snuggle with she loves anything soft and fuzzy because she likes to rub it on her face so he's like super soft and fuzzy so i thought this was cute these were only about like $13 at the store. Um, I don't know if this was like a total worthwhile buy because there's not much you can do, but I still think she's going to really like it. And it's happy and cute and bright, so we'll see. All right, when Toys R Us was closing down, we went, we saw, we conquered, we got a bunch of items. And one of those was the Disney Moana Little Petite Adventure Moana and Pua. Um, she loves Moana, she loves Pua, and I just thought she was so cute. We don't have many of these little petite ones. We have an Anna and Elsa and a Cinderella, but I just love Moana. I think she's so sweet, and it's perfect, I think, for Eleanor's age. Um, I just loved it. This was like 4 or $5. It was super inexpensive. I'm sure you can still get these, um, but this one was only at Toys R Us, but I'm sure they've taken over, and you can find these at least like online or something. I'll try to link one below, but I just think... I mean, who doesn't love Moana? Okay, these next items are more centered around art. Um, I do try to always kind of encourage the girls to have like their creativity and they're just artistic juices flowing. Um, and they both really, really love to color and draw and create, specifically my oldest. But my youngest is really, really getting into coloring as well. And so I did get them each at least a couple of art items that they can do. The first one is the Melissa and Doug Color Blast. Now we have a ton of Melissa and Doug Water Wows, which are really, really great and super easy to take with you. I highly recommend those. They're great stocking stuffers. And this one I think is going to be really great too. This is a no mess marker. It's kind of like the Crayola versions, just much cheaper. It is only one uh, marker, but I think that when you put it on the paper, it creates all the colors that it was intended to do. I just think it's so cute. She's going to be so into it because she really loves coloring and drawing and so when she like colors this i'm so excited to see her face and see how she does it so she can be like big sister because we try not to let her use markers quite yet because they make a lot more of a mess but uh 
this one is mess free and the reason that i really love these types of things is because melissa and doug includes like a little storage place to keep the marker so you don't have to like tape on or constantly be looking for it it just stays right inside this is perfect for on the go melissa and doug saves a day i did get this at five below for four dollars it's probably around that price online at amazon or walmart i will try to link it below but they do have other ones this one is just the princess it's I don't know why I said it. princesses, princesses, no mess coloring pad, but I'm sure that they have a bunch of different types. They always do. Next thing I got her is a Magna Doodle. This is a Peppa Pig Magna Doodle. She really loves the one that um, Olive has, but that one's starting to get like the magnets um, inside don't want to like break up anymore and just getting old and used. So I figured we'd refresh it with this one. That way they both can use it, but specifically for Eleanor. Um, she's really into trying to color and draw scribbles and stuff like that as well. Um, these do come with little stamps and shapes of like a cloud, a star, and a little flower. I'll probably end up keeping Keeping those aside because she's still a little bit too little unless I'm right there with her but if we're in the car she won't have them she'll just have the, the pen um, but she's really getting into Peppa as well and this was only like five or six dollars at Walmart and I just think it's a cute little gift and perfect for her to go on the go as well and the last art item we got her I think this is so cool I've never seen it before until recently and it's my first Crayola double doodle board so Crayola came out with a whole line for like toddlers and younger kids who are just starting to learn how to use crayons and produce or work on their fine motor skills and so this is one of them this is stage two the doodling stage and this is so cool so one side is a doodle board so she just takes the crayons that they give you and you can doodle and scribble and scratch and whatever on it I'm really hoping they clean off easily sometimes with these boards like this they're a pain in the butt so we'll see but the thing that I really liked and the reason that we got it is because they have this now this at first made me think of those like heat activated boards that really don't work very well you just push your finger on it just like activates but it's not it's like a sealed gel surface and it's for like finger pain so it feels like like squishy and aids into like sensory development and she can create and draw and squiggle but there's no mess I just think that it's so cool and i'm so excited about it so this was 9.99 at target i don't know if they have it at walmart i'm sure they do i'm sure it's not it's probably like a dollar or so cheaper but i'm really excited about it i think she's gonna love it i think this is such a cool gift i don't know if it's actually good <laughs> but it looks really cool and if it works out i feel like i'm gonna get this for like my nephew and other little kids that are around the younger age because i think this is so cool right. This next item is a Masha and the Bear item. This is Masha Snap and Play Fashion Birthday Masha. So she has like a really cute little birthday dress on. Um, we got this for like 4 or $5 at uh, Toys R Us when they were going out of sale. At the time, my oldest was still really into Masha and the Bear. Now she's really gone, grown out of that stage. My youngest isn't a big fan of it, so I actually think we're going to donate this to Tots, Toys for Tots. Um, we have a couple other items, and I just think that this would be really nice. To donate because we don't need a toy that we're not going to use but i still think it's really cute so if you guys do have a little one that is into mosh and the bear they do have a cute little masha dolls and multiple different types they have like a dancing masha painter masha and the clothes just come in and snap on and off and i just think they're really cute but i think we're going to end up donating this one because we don't need it and i know someone else will probably get more use out of it we're coming up to the end with eleanor <laughs> the one of the last items for her is this one this one's kind of a big item this is a baby alive potty dance baby and she's really getting into taking care of her baby dolls and wanting once again to pretend play and i wanted to get her a new baby doll that was specifically just hers because she doesn't have one yet just for her own and um i started looking into all different dolls and i really love baby alive and so i decided to do some more research eleanor's about to be two like i said we are not immediately starting potty to train when she turns two. We're waiting until she gives us more signals and clues. I am definitely not a pressure when it comes to potty training. I feel like they are ready when they are ready and you will know. That's what we did with Olive and she like caught on so fast when she really was like, okay, let's go. And it was like night and day. Um, but I do want to encourage her and give, you know, like expose her to going on the potty and what you do. And so she specifically, she just heard to go on the potty. She does a little potty dance. She asks you to take her potty. She needs to go pee pee. And you put her on the potty and she'll go. Of course, you have to feed her the water or whatever, which it does come with a little sippy cup. And there's an extra pair of pink and some soap. And I just think this was so 
cute. The reason that I really liked it too is because specifically only at Walmart Online it came with a bonus pack. In stores you can just buy basically like without this side you can buy the doll. Um, but online they had a bonus pack that didn't have any extra money it was the same price as it was in store and it comes with a little pajama set some toothpaste a toothbrush and the toothpaste is so cute because the toothpaste like actually comes out she's so into brushing her teeth and i know she's gonna love that set of little diaper wipes and a like storybook for night night time and i just thought this was so sweet um this was on sale for $32, I believe, around that range. Originally, it's like $60, so I definitely snagged it up as soon as I can. I have seen that they've been going on sale like crazy lately. It's like flash sales randomly. They'll be like $30 and $20 and back to $50 and all over the place. So definitely keep an eye out because their sales are up and down all the time on Walmart Online. And they have been on sale a little bit on Amazon as well. Um, but... I believe that this one is still on sale at Walmart. I will link it below. And they have different um, little girls. They have a little redhead with freckles and a little blonde girl and a brunette. Um, I just thought she was so cute. So I got her. I think her name is Mia. Okay, this is the last bit for Eleanor. And this... We got some Calico Critters. So my mom um, was wondering what she was what she should get Eleanor for Christmas and I encourage her to pick up a kind of a doll house because Eleanor we have a big Barbie dream house but it's just too big for her at the moment I think and so I was trying to find something that Eleanor felt was hers and her size and not just her sisters so we started looking online I didn't really like the Fisher Price like little people stuff it's just I don't know I just felt like it was too she'd grow out of it really fast and we looked at Peppa Pig because we love Peppa but I just wasn't sold on that and then I came across Calico critters and oh my gosh Olive has never been into them so I've seen them like on the my peripherals when we've been like the toy area but she's never really like taken to them and so we never I never went and looked at them but I finally did for Eleanor and they have so many cute things it's like very traditional style toys with these little animal figurines for the people they're just so freaking cute there's like department stores and makeup sets and vanities and ice cream shops and oh my gosh it's like a whole village you can create it's so cute they do have like a theme one from i think calico critters isn't specific i think it's specific to walmart but it may be completely off on that but target does have one that's specific to them it's called little woodsies not the same to me in quality we definitely went with the calico critters and i will leave the picture of the one that my mom ended up picking up for her I don't remember what it's called, um, but Amazon was having a big sale on it, so we picked it up, and I'm so excited. It's like perfect size for her, and I think it can fit perfectly under her bed when she's not playing with it. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm probably going to get a little bin to keep all of her little stuff um, with it. I decided to pick up just two things to go along with it. The first thing is a triple baby bunk bed set. This just holds like the little baby um, figures. And I just thought they were so cute, the little threes. They do have like regular bunk beds that hold like I think the full size, like moms and dads and stuff like that. But these specifically hold the little babies. Um, and they will fit another item. <laughs> and I just thought these were perfect for her and so cute. And then these, oh my gosh. I knew I wanted to get her a full family set. And I looked all over. I still want to get her like a couple more. They have like a Labrador family and a bear family and a cat oh my gosh they're so cute but these ones i could not say no to these are the pickle weeds hedgehog family and oh my gosh they are so cute their little faces they got these big smiles on them they're fuzzy which is totally eleanor their little outfits they have overalls and dresses oh oh my gosh these are the cutest I feel like these are perfect for her. They're perfect for her size and age range. I will be keeping, probably throwing away, the little combs and brushes because they are small. But I think these are perfect and I'm so excited. I hope she loves them because they're so freaking cute. I forgot to add, this is another thing for Eleanor for her art set. She's just starting to get into Play-Doh. She's still a little bit young. It says ages three plus, but I'm, she's fine. Play-Doh's non-toxic. I just have to keep an eye on her. Um, but she loves when her sister plays with it and she wants to play with it and she gets to play with it at church during her nursery time. And so 
I got her a set. This was only like four bucks or something. It was super cheap at Target and I loved all the glitters that it came, all the glittery dough that it came with. It comes with six things of Play-Doh and they're glittery and sparkly and with two, I believe, little stampers. There's a heart and a butterfly and I know she's gonna love this. My oldest is gonna love it. It's kind of a mutual gift for both of them. All right, and the last thing that Eleanor will be getting for Christmas is from Santa Claus and he was nice enough to send them our way and let us show you them, but shh, it's a secret. So the thing that we decided to get El all, um, ask Santa for, for Eleanor, is an iPad, which definitely a lot of people have a lot of feelings about, and it's just kind of our own personal decision what we wanted to do. She sees her sister playing with it, and it's really hard to be like, no, you know, and we definitely, uh, try sharing but it definitely gets hard because we have quiet times and I want to encourage her to be quiet as I could put it with her sister and if one gets the iPad and the other one doesn't it's a meltdown anyway we don't really gotta explain myself we decided to go with an iPad now my oldest already has an iPad mini and Santa decided that he was going to move the iPad mini down to my youngest and that'll be officially hers so he sent along with it a new case these um are just like that rubberized kind of foam cases we love the one she has on the case now that we've literally had for like three four years now and it has like the little arms I have no idea how that iPad has survived the stuff that it's survived, but they don't make them anymore. Like I had the hardest time trying to find them and all of them were out of stock. And so I just went with this one. This one had really good reviews still too. And I told Santa this is the one to get and he thought it was a good idea. And the, this is a handle, but this can also be bent so it can be like put fully faced up, which I think will be really nice for her. And uh, she loves yellow. And I just, this is nice. So this is the one that we got for her. Okay, so what Santa decided to do for Olive since Eleanor was getting her old iPad was that he was going to upgrade and get a new tablet for Olive. Now, when we were talking to Santa, we went through so many ideas on which tablet to get and if it was worth it to get the iPad without spending a ton of money or if we thought like a Kindle Fire or Kids Tab or Amazon Fire Tablet, whatever those things are called, were worth it and everything in between. I looked and researched probably for a good year because <laughs> we knew this is what we were going to do this Christmas and um, I finally decided to ask Santa not for an iPad because we just thought it was too expensive and instead a Samsung Galaxy Tab A. This is the 10.1 inch 16 gigabyte in white. This was on sale at Target for Black Friday for $129. I think it retails for like $220 or something like that um, and so pretty much $100 off I believe. We have been kind of working with this and seeing what it was like. Santa gave us a time to be able to do a test drive and all I'm gonna say, this is so nice. <laughs> I have no idea. I just got into the habit of being like, oh, Apple's great, Apple, 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 iPad, 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 iPhone, iPhone, iPhone. And honestly, I prefer this. Like probably because the iPad is so old that we have, so anything just does, the clarity is not even close. It's just so nice, it's so easy to use, and so clean. I love the Play Store, like this will be so nice. I cannot wait, Olive is gonna love it. It's a big gift, and she has to be responsible about it, and we will have rules, but I'm really excited, and I hope that they appreciate it. So, this is kind of Eleanor's gift, kind of Olive, it's kind of weird, but uh, Santa knows what to do. He knows how to give it to them, so we'll let him take over, but uh, this is the one we've got decided to get. Okay, so now we're moving on to Olive. I know it was a long bit beforehand. Olive is my four-year-old, and uh, she is obsessed with Sunny Day. That is like her number one thing. That is all she asked for, all she wanted. Her whole theme was Sunny Day. And it's funny because I constantly see LOL dolls everywhere, and all the videos are LOL, LOL, LOL. Like there, I've, I have yet to see anybody show a sunny day item, which is just so funny because my life has only been sunny day because she loves it so much. I haven't, like, she's barely talked about LOL, so it's just, it's so funny how different families are. Um, but that was her number one thing this year was LOL. That's all she wanted, or sunny day, that's all she wanted, that's all she talked about. So, 
let me show you what she got. These are kind of, these are kind of random things, but uh, sunny day. So um, these are some bath sets that Walmart has. I always get them every year. Last year we got a Peppa Pig one, and now this year we're doing sunny day. So this is the soap scrub body wash. This comes with a cotton candy scented body wash and a cotton candy scented shampoo with a little sunny day loofah sponge that like sticks onto the tile wall. This was only $4.88 total like good stock and stuff or idea she's gonna freak and this she's been talking about wanting the sunny day toothbrush so badly and i'm like they don't have them they don't have them they have them um this one again was at walmart so it's a little the glam van which is the thing that i'm trying to get her to listen i'm so scared she's listening um this is a glam van that sunny drives and it has a little rinse cup and in the back there is a toothbrush that goes along with it i actually got her a separate toothbrush for her stocking i'm actually going to give this toothbrush to eleanor because these are super soft and small and they are perfect for eleanor she's been she had used the peppa pig one from last year so that will be eleanor's toothbrush and uh yeah ollie has been super into makeup and wanting makeup and obviously she's four i'm not gonna let her walk out with a full face of makeup on but I don't mind her learning and creating and having fun while she's here because mommy does makeup and I want her to just once again express herself and have fun. So I got her a set of my first lip gloss set, which is from My Princess Academy. This is opening up. This is from the Toys R Us sale. I think I spent, this was originally $8.99. I think I got this for like $2, $3. Um, but it has two little lipsticks, two glitter lip glosses, and two like chubby lip pencils. So perfect for her. She's gonna love it. I got her a set of makeup brushes from Five Below. These were five dollars. They come with a set of four. They're really fun and mermaidy. They're really pretty. I think she's gonna love these. And then I got her an eyeshadow palette. This was super cheap at Walmart. I think this was like nine dollars. And it's a set of 40 different eyeshadows. They're all completely rainbow. And so I know, I'm not gonna open it up. I had to open it up to check to make sure that it wasn't broken, but I'm just gonna leave it in its package for now. Um, but you can just see what they look like. They're all basically rainbows and puns and lots of pinks and reds, which is what she's gonna be really wanting. And this is just for fun for her to do her own eyeshadow like mommy if she wants. And uh, that is her little makeup set. Okay, Olive also got, this is like falling out every time I try to like fix it. <laughs> Olive got a mermaid blanket. Um, she's been wanting one of these for so long and I just never got it. I was going to give it to her for her birthday and then I ended up getting her a different blanket. So she's getting another blanket for Christmas. But it's a mermaid blanket and basically if you don't know, I'm sure you do, but it's just looks like that they stick their little feet in it and they have a little fin and tail mermaid tail this one was from target in the dollar section um but this was ten dollars and they do have one in the actual like kids bedding section from pillow fort that i think is like 12 or 13 dollars it's much better quality i should have gotten that then totally forgot about it to take this back and exchange it but whatever they also have these pretty much exact same blankets at five below for five dollars so if you're interested in that go to five below totally more worth it than ten dollars but this is super super soft it's pink this was the only one i saw and i got this back during fall time because there's pumpkins and stuff on it i haven't seen them since but um definitely a good gift to give like a little pair of pjs and this would be like good for like a christmas eve gift but um Let's start the sunny day craze. So first things first is all right. So for Ollie's um, art section stuff, I have only two things for her. The first thing is a scratchy scratch notepad. She's super into drawing. She much prefers to draw than to color. She just wants to draw everything. Um, and so I got this. It you. It's like those like black papers and you scratch and the black comes off and there's color underneath it and it's just really fun I thought this was a fun new thing for her to do because she's literally been coloring literally everything she can get her hands on so I thought this is different you use like a piece of like a little wood stick like a kebab stick and just scratch away and draw on it and I just thought this would be a fun thing for her to use this is only I don't know not very expensive on Amazon um and uh, I think this is a cool different kind of thing rather than like a sketch pad which I think is what she got last year um I think this will be fun this is something she doesn't have and hasn't seen before so I'm excited this next thing is one of the coolest freaking gifts <laughs> I hope she loves it because I'm excited for it and she pointed this out at the store and I just completely absentmindedly didn't think about it and then I saw it later online and I was like that is so cool 
and it's the Crayola Scribble Scrubbies. So they each got a Crayola gift. And this is so cool. I love the idea of this because it's still like a play toy and a play like figurine, but it's also creating and like sensory play with art and pretend play. I just love it. So basically you get these four little animals and a set of markers with a little tub that actually works um and these these are like fuzzy i thought that they were going to be more like plastic but they're actually like fuzzy and you just draw on them and create spots and stripes and decorate them however you like and then you come over here and you give them a bath and this is a working bathtub um and it has a little brush you just scrub them clean they make me think of those teddy bears that we had back in the 90s and I can't remember what they're called but they were all freaking rage even though they didn't really wash very well my mom could never get it out and I used the right marker so whatever hopefully this works better than that we've come a long way since the 90s um but I just think this is really cool this was about $15 during Black Friday and um they have it on Walmart and Amazon and all that stuff but um if you don't want to do the full set you could just I think they have sell each of these little guys individually and they will still come with like a, two markers a animal and the brush but the bathtub set and all of them I think was a better value and just cooler <laughs> so I got her this this is one of the gifts that I'm personally most excited for because I just think it's really cool and creative and fun I love all the different types of things they mix together in this and I believe this did win like a best toy award for the year so I think this is really cool like this is a good gift to me I'm excited <laughs> all right to the sunny day craze that we're about to start first things first is we have the sunny day sunny's accessory apron I'm not gonna freaking pre press this because it talks and dances and not dances sings and that kid would hear it so um it comes with a belt and a straightener, fake scissors, a brush, and a curling iron. And it's just fun for her to do pretend play with hair. This is something she really wanted. I believe I spent like $14 on this. Around there. Around there. To go along with it, she said that she absolutely needed a hair dryer. This is not a working hair dryer, obviously, but it does like sing to and has like hair drying noise and... It comes with clips and another brush. We're gonna have so many of these freaking brushes. <laughs> this is only like seven or six dollars. It wasn't very expensive, but that can go together. And to make her sunnyified, she needed a sunny outfit. This is one thing she's been wanting for so long, and it was sold out for so long. So instantly, when it came back in spot in stock, I spent like twenty something dollars on this. It's now down to like ten or twelve. I hate when that happens but whatever I got it I'm happy um and she's gonna love it it's just the cute little sunny day dress up dress and uh I can't wait till she sees it. I'm just so excited all right the last thing for her that isn't a mutual gift because we have kind of some mutual gifts to share too because I told you guys I went overboard is what Santa got her and she's known for almost a full year pretty much that she wanted sunny day dolls from santa she's asked him that she's tried her very hardest to write it out she's working on her writing and spelling and sounding out letters and uh she has told me a billion times she's told our uh, elf glitter a billion times she's told her grandpa i mean like anybody on the street she'll tell you all about sunny day and what she wants from santa and so santa heard and he sent over these um, these are the Sunny Day Brush and Style dolls. This one is Rocks. Super freaking cute. They're a bit bigger than I think Barbie, full size Barbie, um, but they aren't super large. I think they may be as tall as a Barbie. I don't know. They just seem bigger. You know what I'm saying? Um, but they're around that size, like size. And so we have Rocks. We have Blair, which is my favorite. She's so cute. And then of course, uh, and then of course, the big daddy, the big papa. We got Sunny. Um, this is Sunny and the glam van. This is the main thing that she asked Santa for. And, um, 
sunny super cute get the full size sunny doll just like the other ones and then you get the glam van which has all these accessories opens up into like a little vanity area like that she's gonna be so excited so currently all of those, those are on sale they're we were originally like $15 each and right now they're currently on sale for I think I've seen lowest at Walmart for like $7 or $6 um, they may have gone back up to nine, but still cheaper. And that has been, the Glam Man has been, originally I think it's like 59. It's been down to like 39. So definitely check because their sales are still rocking hard on Walmart. I'm like so impressed with them this year. So check those out. If you're interested, if you have a little one who likes Sunny Day, she's gonna freak out. All right, the last item that Olive has <laughs> this is the my life doll bed um i knew that she needed a doll bed because she's literally been putting her barbies and dollies and everything to bed in cardboard boxes and buckets and shoe boxes and pillows and blank like creating as many things as she could and so she hasn't vocalized it yet but i feel like she's gonna love this so i found this this is the my life doll bed from walmart my life my, my life my life is the walmart version of American Girl. Um, Target has one that's called Our Generation. I loved the Target Our Generation bed, but it was $40 and wasn't on sale. Well, this was $19.99 and I think I only spent $16 on this. And I just feel like this was a bit smaller as well as like width wise. Um, and it, it just, I feel like this was gonna work a bit better and it was a little bit cheaper and I already spent a lot of money, so you know. But this comes with still cute pillows, a little owl, a little poof ball, um, a blanket, comforter, all of that stuff. The things I like on it too is that they have holes underneath on the bottom and so you can stack them and create bunk beds if you have more than one. And it's still really cute. I did like the other one more, but this will be just fine. If she wants a fancier version later, we can talk about it for like a birthday or something. But I still think this will be really great and she has no idea, so. And I figured that they would fit her Sunny Day dolls perfectly too. Even though the Sunny Day dolls are smaller, I still think, think that they will be, it'll, it'll, it'll work out wonderfully. Okay, the last things I'm gonna share with you are kind of mutual gifts. So the first thing is this Fancy Nancy telephone. Um, this is a fancy, fancy French phone. They both, well, all of my oldest loves Fancy Nancy and my youngest loves phones. And I was like, who do I give this to? Um, cause I bought it on a whim. It was on sale at Walmart a couple months ago and it's just so cute. You press this and she talks and speaks in French and it's just super adorable. So I figured they can share this gift and play with it together just like they will with all the other items. They both will be getting the same PJs. These were from Walmart. You can also get them on Amazon. They are from a brand called Cone, Cone, Cone Mar Kids. And it's a little, I think, Penguar, Penguar set. It comes with this really cute little ruffle nightgown. And then on the top is this really pretty little robe. It's so cute. It makes me feel like very traditional vintage Christmas, which is my fave. And so this one is for Olive. And we have Eleanor's and they're all match. And I'm just so excited because they're super cute. Also, every single holiday, no matter what it is, books, or books, birthdays, Christmas, Easter, Valentine's Day. That's it, right? All of those things. I always do books. That's important to me. I want to encourage their love for reading and learning. And so this year, these are the two books I got. They're both um, from Little Golden Books. And I figured these were perfect. Um, so this one is for Olive. It's called I'm a Ballerina. And it's just a little book about being a ballerina and a ballet recital and I think they teach basic ballet positions in this which I think is really cute and then I'm a unicorn which is for Eleanor and it's just kind of cute and fun and totally Eleanor talks about her being brave and strong and fierce and sweet and loving and I love the illustrations in both of these books so those are theirs I got these for four dollars each on Amazon okay, this next item is a Barbie fully furnished two-story house i call this the barbie apartment if you guys have seen this i think i show this in either my valentine's day or my easter haul i've had this thing since i think last february i've had this forever i'm so ready for it to leave my closet um i spent 14 dollars on this or 15 dollars. i think it's originally like 30 they still have it um and it's just this cute little 
two-story Barbie house. We already have a full freaking dream house, but Olive got to the point where she was like really enjoying playing with her Barbies out here, especially when sister was taking a nap. And I am my pushover and I saw this and thought it'd be great. So, but it's great because it can fold up and she can take it with her to like her grandparents' house if she's gonna spend the night. Um, or you just can go around our house. I don't know. Anyway, but I also thought it was a perfect size for Eleanor because Eleanor is a little bit too small for the big Barbie dream house. So this will be perfect for her to like get on its level and play with the Barbies because she's still really into wanting to play with Barbies like her big sister. Um, but if you don't have a lot of space for a dream house, I think this is a really good option and it won't break the bank. All right. To go along with that, I did get Eleanor two little things. She already saw this forever ago and opened up the box. I've had this for so long. Um, but this is the Barbie Skipper Babysitter's Ink, and it kind of looked like her as much as I could possibly find one that did. Are you going to focus? Are you, are you going to focus? Are you going to focus? And this would kind of look like her, at least as much as I could find. And so we have this one. This was it's, These are like two bucks at Target or Walmart. Probably cheaper, but it's destroyed. She won't know, though. And then I found this one at Target, and this is the Barbie Club Chelsea, and it just looks like her to me as well so those are hers because they're kind of like her size and then olive i got this baby now she wanted a new barbie too but all the barbies she wanted even though i kept trying to show her different ones were all the exact same type of barbie they may have different clothes on a different hairstyle but the face and the body was the exact same and we already have 10 of the exact same barbies and without their clothes on you would never notice and so now we just have a ton of the same ones and i was so over that so i tried showing her all these different ones and she just was not interested she wanted a barbie barbie and then i was going online and i was looking at the holiday barbies i wasn't big really impressed with the holiday barbies from this year just i love the dresses very much last year's holiday barbies are so Dunning 2017 they're so pretty and I wanted to get her one of those but then I noticed that they had a 2014 Barbie and that really hit my heart because that was when she was born it was her first Christmas and so I decided to get this one it's beautiful she looks beautiful and stunning she looks like a princess she's this big beautiful ball gown on I love the holiday Barbies because they put effort into them. They look a little bit nicer. They have makeup on like a little, she has like sparkly gold eyeshadow big bold red lip They just put more effort into them now I know these types of Barbies are collectibles and I know a lot of people don't open them and they just keep them as collector's items I'm not really big into collector's items. My family is and when I was a little girl, my mom used to give me all these beautiful collector's edition Barbies and I could never open them and it killed me. And now I actually have no idea where they are. So it really served no purpose <laughs> because to collect them and, you know, like have them of some value, they're not, I don't know where they are. So I'm not going to do that to her. If she wants to open this, she's more than welcome to open this and play with this Barbie. I'm not, I don't want to like keep it up on a shelf for her never to be able to touch. All right, guys, that is the end of this re ridiculous video i thought that i had done so much better and than last year and i'm looking around and thinking that i did probably five times worse so you yeah, know oh well it'll be a fun christmas if you guys would like to see christmas day and present opening please leave a comment below because i'm deciding if i wanted to film that or not um i didn't film it last year and i kind of regretted it because i feel like it would have been so fun but this year is the first year i think it'll be like the most magical christmas so if you guys are interested in seeing our christmas day vlog slash christmas eve through christmas day then please leave a comment below and let me know so i will make sure i film that and um i hope you guys are having a wonderful and happy holiday season whether you celebrate christmas or hanukkah or kwanzaa or don't celebrate anything at all i hope that you are feeling peaceful and joyful and loved and appreciated because you are a value and you deserve all of that um and i hope you're showing love to others as well and just making that whole big circle of love go round and round thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye guys